Good morning, Tigers. I'm Andrew Brinson. This is your Morning Roar. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We will now observe a moment of silence. Good morning, Tigers. I hope everyone is doing well. We have concluded our end of course test, and we are finalizing our last few days of AP testing for students. So I wanted to take an opportunity um, before we go into the last two weeks of school, a few reminders, but also um, just taking some time to thank everyone for a really good school year. All in all, I think coming back out of COVID, this being our first full year all back together, I think we've done a fantastic job. I want us to continue to do so. Um, I want to make sure that you all remember that here on Tiger Trail, we follow the expectations. So a couple of things, and I know, y'all like, here she goes. But yes, here I go. That's my job, and that's my responsibility, and I want to make sure you all understand there are expectations including what we wear to school. I know that these last two weeks, you're like, come on, Miss YBJ, it's the last two weeks. Let it go. I cannot because I have to get up just like you and come to school, your teachers, your mom, your dad, everybody does. And what I want you all to take away from when I say things to you or we remind you of things like dress code and being on time and being responsible, being respectful, is you are going to understand and appreciate it when you get a little bit older, but it's good for you to practice it now so that it won't be hard for you to make that transition, not just when you get out into the real world, but when you, like now, go to your jobs. You have to dress a certain way, you have to behave a certain way, you have to speak a certain way, and it's not to take away from who you are, but there's a time and a place. So while you are here on Tiger Trail, I expect that you will come in dress code. Please stop wearing hats. Hats are not allowed in the building. Now, I have been extraordinarily graceful with the hoods. No hats. We will have one day the up, this upcoming week, or next week, excuse me, for our seniors because of Senior Spirit Week. But everyone else, no hats. In the hallways, if I see hats, I'm taking hats. I'm not asking twice because I've been saying this all year, and I mean it. Pajama bottoms, you all need to wear regular pants, skirts, or shorts. No pajama bottoms, no house shoes, time and place, scarves, girls. You see me? I see you. We're looking at a mirror about 10 o'clock at night. I get it. But during the school day, you need to not have a scarf on your head. It's just that plain and simple. Because what I will tell you is, in preparation for those of you who will return to Fayette County High School next year, our dress code, myself, some of your fellow students, or excuse me, your fellow peers, teachers, some of the assistant principals here in this building, we were all on a committee and we talked to the district office about not relaxing the dress code, but about um, kind of moving into, I guess, what is now some of the new things and new trends that you all um, wear and how you dress, but at the end of the day, those dress codes, uh, the dress code processes and the expectations for next year, they haven't changed very much. And so I will be following them because that is the expectation. Time and place, bottom line. I'm not trying to change who you are, but there's a time and place for everything. So I'm saying this to you all so that you can get your minds right and prepare for that, but practice that now. 
Now that that's all out of the way, I want to talk about expectations for behavior. I've noticed, um, hmm, I think it's the, the basketball dunk or dunking or something like that. We're not doing that. We're not. It's not safe because it could go left real quick and then there could be a whole nother situation. So please don't do it. Not during the school day, not before school, not after school. If you choose to do that at your home, that is your business. But while you are here, it is my responsibility to keep you all safe, even if it means from yourself. And it all, although it may be fun and that's your friend, again, sometimes friends don't like what other friends do. So we're not having that here on Tiger Trail. You all need to make good choices for the next few days that we are here in this building all together, understanding and appreciating that we are here to learn. This is an institution for learning. And that's what we're going to continue to do until May 27th. So I expect that everyone will do their part, will remember who you are and where you are, and be the best versions of yourselves that you can be. I am very grateful, as always, to be you all's principal. I'm excited about this upcoming graduation season. Seniors, I look forward to celebrating with you all next week and into the following week for graduation. And again, please do make good choices because I still have to uphold the expectations, the process, the procedures, and the policies here on Tiger Trail, and I will. Thank you all, and have a fantastic rest of your day. Teachers, thank you for all that you have done. I continue to honor you, even though it's not Teachers Appreciation Week, but you all have done an amazing job. And for everyone, I know it's been a tough year just getting back to our normal routines and making some new routines, but we have all done a good job. And I commend everyone and I thank you and let's continue to exemplify excellence in all we do. Have a great day. Thank you. Seniors, in order for us to recognize your amazing accomplishments, please complete the 2022 scholarship reporting scholarship form each. Please check the Schoology accounts in the link. Do you want your senior post-secondary plan featured in our FCHS IG? Sign up today in the counseling office. Also, seniors, don't forget to stop by the counseling post-grad senior photo booth during, the, during lunch this week and share a picture to, I, to hashtag FCHS post-2022 grad. Congratulations to the Roaring Tigers who made the second semester 13.5 weeks AMB honor roll. We'll be celebrating you this Thursday during all four lunches. Check the list in the 2000 hallway and come get your treat for, the accomplish, for your accomplishments. You've earned it. Attention Tigers, Friday, May 13th is the last day the Tiger Token Store will be open. Come spend your Tiger Tokens, get great things, and place your tokens in the box for your chance to win three prizes of the week. We, ha we will have two large Lego sets and a stackable washer set game, all perfect for, the sum for your summer fun. Hey Tigers, not sure if you ordered a yearbook? Check the 2022 yearbook order list for your name outside of room 2214. If you did not if you didn't if you did not pre-order, go to jostens.com and go and get on the wait list. Students on the list will be contacted either at will be contacted after distribution to purchase any books that are left. Interact Club and the National Social Students Honor Society are having a drive to help the Bloom Our Youth nonprofit organization. Please watch the short video on how you can help. Come out and get your car washed by the debate team. The debate team is hosting a car wash this Saturday, May 14th, from 9.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Are you interested in running cross-country in the fall? We welcome runners at all levels. Scan the QR code included here, found in the hallways, or you can see Coach Williams in room 1210 for more information. Optional, option, optional practice begins June 7th. You must have all updated physicals uploaded to Privet in order to participate. That's all, Tigers. Have a great rest of your day.